A lot of counter utility expended early on. The Cypher denying them at least some early presence. And in fact, Spike it's going to be sick to find the first pick. A quick couple of trades back from GMD, however, is going to make things that little bit more awkward. In fact, the Omen's just on ham in the pistol round, leaving just two players remaining, but one of them being Sinatra. He's found the kill at the back of the shock dump. Demolish. So maybe a, a slight slip up early on and we've seen a video actually released over the last couple of days coming out from the sentinels basically saying that sometimes it takes those moments those kicks to show them that maybe they're not quite in the form that they wanted to be and that's how they ended up basically becoming the powerhouse that they currently are nonetheless we'd have to hope that versus genji we're gonna get the best from them again we're gonna see the same take in towards the a site and there's a very passive player at the back of the site Sick will at least get one, so they're doing at least a little bit of damage. And Sinatra's just found another one. This is starting to become scary. This is mostly just classics. How is this even becoming close? And now it's one really sure. still pushing into the site. He's the third kill of the round and consistently trying to heal himself back up. Sick has survived a ridiculous amount of tears. You can see the stinger currently out. Spike plants. Yeah, and well. A bit more aggressive here. I like this. Reclaim some map control. Don't allow them to get too far forward. And Mikhail's already found the first kill onto Dapper. Bear in mind, this is a weaker purchase. This is Gen G not necessarily putting every single penny into this round. Whereas their opponents of Sentinels have got those rifles. Looking to try and take this one home. GMD in a pretty powerful position. They're not going to clear the edge of his smoke. And Shazam eventually gets the trade. Damage being done, but Sean's left so blind. However, the trades come back thick and fast. And somehow, Genji of Man. It could have been a shot that would have done all the damage, but the dash is good to get out of there. But it has put Zombs in a really difficult position. He's just wanted to try and catch people. And he can win. He's the first to get a kill. Shazam is back at least. Some damage has been done to Gen G. They're still a four versus three. Still trying to work their way onto the site. Well, the best round they've had so far has been off Spike the back. Planted. Classics. I am hoping that's not going to be a running theme for the Sentinels. This round, though. Well, if they can get any extra weaponry, it might just be worth Black holding onto it. Just split back. However, with now mid control firmly in their favor, it does look like B is far more likely. <laughs> Teams like to push mid to be like this, and you can tell Sentinels playing off of the site, just trying to at least get a frag before they make their way onto the site. It's something that Zombs could do, and the rolling fund is going to come through onto the site. It's just going to be no shown now left. with the help of player one. Trying to make something of this round in the two versus four. Oh, so many people wait for them. Six brings it in, but Sean with the Empress now has to try to clutch it out as much as possible. The oh, reload no. is super awkward. And finally, Sentinels can get off the board. Is Sinatra. Doesn't have the Odin, no. He's playing for the Phantom and gonna hold on to get some intel. But the Execute's coming in. It's a really good paranoia that can catch him out. Oh. Actually, it does completely. Sinatra no idea what was happening. The Omen wants to try and teleport onto the site just to get a bit of intel. Maybe even stay there to get a frag, but Zoms decides against it. It's just gonna be an old-fashioned retake. Planted. From really difficult positions for Sentinels. There's no ultimates to help them. They might try to sort of push it together, but they also could save because this seems very difficult to break through. That was a beautiful take from Gen G. I, I think the thing I really like about that as well is it, it's evident that there's been some research into that. Like, okay, we need to paranoia here. We need to clear this angle. We need to be prepared for everything Sinatra's going to do. And this is something you'll realize a lot. There's a reason that it's very... Well, I wouldn't say easy. Easy is the wrong word. But it's easier to become the king. It's very difficult to keep it. Because at this point, every single team's going to be watching your demos. Every team's going to be keeping an eye on what you are doing. And at this stage... It seems like Genji are very well prepared. Realistically, there's not as much of a hold now. And it's really on to Zoms to do a, a good job. He's already going to lose a teammate. And in fact, it's Win who's just going to go straight into the site. A double entry for him. That, that should be round over. I'm finding it difficult to see a way that they get back into this. But it seems that the Sentinels are still going to try. And try they might. One by one, they fall. And you can see Sick just trying his best to escape what has been a fantastic round once again and hey you gotta give credit to the jet that is a superb double entry from Wink. it's just the play at the start of the round i mentioned the hunter's fury sentinel play from sinatra and genji still wanted to hit a because of course they do they love that execute so they just waited in a position 
where Sentinels couldn't reach them. They had no intel, they didn't get a frag. Ultimate got nothing. Genji knew that that play was coming in and they played around it. It's super smart and where has this Genji been for like months? This is like a whole new team. And whilst, yeah, Shazam's able to at least try and keep this operator on another save, be lurking in so much attention focused on A shot where the majority of Genji are. Gonna do the whole flashing outside the smoke, essentially, with the cyber cage. Needs to try and find the cypher on the site. Aww. He's in the cyber cage, but the tripwire shows himself where Sean is. Four versus three now. Dapper's still doing work on the site. Gonna get right into the face of GMD, but unfortunately doesn't win that engagement. The spike isn't on site, actually. It's pushing through with Mikhail towards Garden. Might even wrap around to B. But it is a bit awkward sort of leaving your Omen player behind on the site. Might just try and bait or flank around. This is great. Oh, he needs to get both, but unfortunately so low on HP that there wasn't really a chance. Unfortunate if he manages to somehow double headshot. And what usually Dapper does when he has his ult is play super aggro, that he just tries to find a frag, use the ultimate, get that information, play around it, but you can see that he's just playing super passively because Genji have such good execution on the site that he wants to try and be there. Well, yes, again, it's going to be A. Execute coming through. Pretty much picture perfect every single time. But Shazam catches Mikhail lurking in the mid. Nobody's on the A site. The Sentinels are not playing pure retake and they have the advantage in this fight. This is well. Spike planted. Whoa, they don't have it for long. Sean is on an absolute tear. Turns it back into a 3v3 situation. His Reyna has been formidable thus far. And, oh, it looks like his teammate's going to be on, alongside him here. Player one gets a pick, but eventually gets traded from Sinatra. Now both players coming from the head. Right, I'm going to try and wrap back in, but it's clean from GMD. Left all onto the big man himself. Sinatra in a one versus two, trying to find out information of where the last two players are. But Sean, he's going to go peeking. No fear from this man. I'm loving the pace of this game. Running, keep gunning, trying to take down Shazam. But he, well, he gets one, but that's all. A very quick trade out. And again, they've managed to gain control of the site. It seems like they're just catching off guard in so many of these rounds. A few weaker purchases know exactly as well. Not going to be helping them out in this retake, but Spike at least they will have to exactly death. give them a little bit of information. Well, you know what? There's one straight back. Everybody knows where everybody is at this stage, Brian. That may not mean too much. Nice double entry, though. Two kills back in. They've got to get past the tripwire. And in fact, that actually ends up giving away a frag. Mekael at the back of the side. Get out a lot of information. Tries to play through, but it's that to find the kill. Now GMD. A little bit further away than maybe he would have liked. You're going to see the spike spam. He's trying to get him through the wall, but he's got completely the wrong angle. It's just being stuck all the way through. And Dapper's got his teammates back. It's a third for Sentinels. A quiet stun is over. And that's what he's hoping for. There's the spam through. And straight through is the rolling thunder. I don't know if that was part of the plan, no but it seems to have at least died and or denied a little bit of extra presence. The thing is, though, GMP is actually teleported across to the site with the spike however getting it down is going to be very difficult now this setup from sentinels has worked almost perfectly a two versus five to bring this back well i'd be very impressed possibly so far but it's going to try and push out Zom's just spots in crouching who's king which of an a site hold from them whatsoever mikhail he's looking for that opener and he's going to find it as well the first pick goes his way. He's been looking to lead the charge. Blade Storm in effect, but it's Sinatra with the Operator. He's going to pick off two. It may not be his normal expensive weapon, but it is one nonetheless. Still, though, he's got to be careful. Already tagged relatively low. Looking for a peek back into the site. A slightly whiff shot, and actually, the kills are coming back once again. It seems like this Gen Z roster are just on fire individually. Player one picks off one more. Well, he may have got two kills in this round, but he will get no more. Eight to four in favor of Gen G. A solid players are hiding. Already the fault line will hold them back a little bit longer, but it's going to be a long while before we see any more of those coming in to try and deny defusals. A little bit of chip damage as they look to enter back in, but Sean's already found another one. Playing similarly. 
trading from Sinatra with his pistol as well. Oh, this is trading back and forth, but the fact is, again, it always seems to be left to Sinatra. 21 HP. They're already defusing the spike. One damage is a flash to no damage. The second comes through. It's a very nice attempt from Sinatra. But old Mod are getting the plant in, but I'm sure they'll take it at this point. Cheeky little dry peak, but he does still go down. Again, these pistol runs that we saw last time, it's exactly the same. Very, very costly, but ultimately the round win didn't quite go their way. A chance for the Aries to do some damage, a slightly missed paranoia. Not going to do too much, and somehow Mikhail has got away with murder. Uh, he gets two kills for himself, a third in total, and now sick. He's hoping he can try and find a sneaky kill, but I don't think he expects. He's caught by. But... He's going to A, he's done. <laughs> How has he managed this? Now, there, there is still a cam available for Genji to use. So the second he gets anywhere near this site, they are going to be able to spot it. Although this will probably be one of the biggest bamboozers of all time because they still think he's on the B site. They are going to be utterly confused. But eventually, when this spike pops, spike planted. they're now going to get the cam out and probably check where he is. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How's he got there? I mean, Sentinels will still be happy. They've killed three members of Gen G. They've got the spike planted. They've just propped up their economy a little bit more. And Gen G's is looking a little bit worse. So, going into the 15th round. Be a good luck for them. You can still clutch this out. He is going to hop down, but no, player one <laughs> with the area is just Cyber Cages, hops for it, does a bit of damage. Another defuse coming in. Sentinels have a long way to climb now. Both it's a little bit gun Silence. And it might be an opportunity for Genji. Revealing area. But yeah, you have to bear in mind this round especially is still a lot of the bonus weaponry for Genji. You've got Ares, Stingers, like it's not a particularly pretty buy. But they're gonna try and make it work. Now they've got some aggression in the team. Actually, that's a superb paranoia! GMD might have just single-handedly won the round. He's gained two kills. Make that up! Maybe trying to put their position in with a rolling thunder. The Eldrun's going to come through. If it spots nobody on site, they might do it across tree. Ooh. But getting that frag on to win. More incentive, I suppose, for Sentinels to push onto the site and use a little bit more. They've got this opening that they need. Found you. Go run! Go run! A lot of damage being done through, or at least it seemed, but... Doesn't actually get away with anywhere near as much. And Genji, you've quickly turned this into a... Pretty decent situation. Zam now going to be the only one remaining, and he gets absolutely nothing. We're expecting them. this B hit. Are you? Push to the back of the site, taking a little bit of damage, and actually Shazam has managed to get the opener. He's all on his own. He needs the multi frag, and he gets absolutely I nothing. I know exactly where you are. They're going to get information Fight of where the remaining it. couple of players are, and that actually leaves Sean in a pretty awkward position. I say that he has popped the Empress. Now that first kill brings this round back into the realms of possibility, but Shazam has just gone an absolute tear. Looking to try and do this all on his own. Eventually, we'll get shut down. Oh, the spike has been ticking. Anti-utility being expended, and it seems like on the other side of things, Huynh might just be making the decision to hold on to some of his weaponry. Not wanting to throw everything in in this round, but for Sean, he just wants to try and hold them into the site. Deny them anything in the save, and he's just absolutely destroying them. We may even just see the remaining player just opt to try and die to the flag. He's not quite going to get the ace. He has made this a very costly round and wins there at the end to close them out. Sure. It's a very aggressive start to the round. Win. Already getting a peek. Sean, though, he has been superb so far. GMD looking to try and support him as well. And he's managed to dodge the Hunter's Fury. But just look at the offense rotating all the way back around. These Hunter's Furies have not caught anything, I don't think. They've just Shadows been a miss, unfortunately, from Sinatra. Zom's now from the shadows to make his way over 2A. Not going to sight. And I think Genji might back up to sight just to check. The sight is already there. The player one's maybe expecting that kind of play, but Zom's is still open things up. It's really a case of what player one could do. His position is given up, but he's still able to get dapper. Luckily, Sinatra's played up that play. Shadows traveling. The omen teleport. Spike it's got planted. intel, but it's not going to get much more. 
Well, a man that I think even Sentinels might have learnt to fear a little bit. Sean is still standing. He's up alongside GMD as well. Both of them have had an incredible match. Proving what this team has got. Even a little bit of spam through the corner box could be enough to get them the first opening pick. But I like this. The play around the edge of the box. And Archer, he's going to get himself one. But it comes down to the 1v1. Sean a little bit tagged. His opponent much weaker. And he gets the kill. Just 4 HP to close out the match. It's Gen G. This is a 13-5. And while we had a, a little bit of a moment in there, I was, I was looking for the worst performance. The AXQ is going to come in on the side of center. He's still the player's push through mid. Player one, I love this position that he's in. He's trying to face even more, but literally gets face to face with Sinatra at this point. Sick, walling up to see that a lot. He's coming through, but already damage is done before the plant is even going to come in from Sick. Spike Mikhail, planted. Making a play. Interestingly, he moved over from the silver to the omen. Mikhail, 14 HP, and possible. And what, the defense as well as I know, know as well, that if mid's gonna be a high point of contention, that's where you send your stat. Turned into a deathmatch server there for a second, but such is the impact of Sentinels on attack. It is too very early rounds now the big buys are going to come in the economy is going to be more than okay for sentinels at this point pretty much won the last two rounds not flawlessly but without very little casualties at least they almost almost have a showstopper available to go for sinatra so maybe some pressure put being made to try and grab that orb execute onto the site the spike is over there and spike much like before would be the planter of the spike onto a site to get the ult charges we'll do something similar with a sage to get resurrect up as much as possible ready shazam to get the opener player one gaining some information i don't think they expected him to be here didn't oh, yeah, properly but it is only going to be a trade. You mentioned the showstopper, and here it goes. And so he's trying to clear out the whole site, but this player has managed to sneak through the back. This is something they desperately need to clear. And player one doing his survivalist role almost perfectly. He does, however, have to be very careful. A lot of pressure coming in onto his position, but he drops the spike. And still, with a player at the back of the site. Ooh. He should really be coming under more pressure, but I guess it's just sit kind of relying on the fact that they don't check him at this point to maybe steal a kill or two, and he eventually gets it through. At the same time, though, he is still stuck in this corner. The spike, in the meantime, has gone rotating all the way back around. Now, could realistically make a play in towards the A site. That might be easier to get done, left. although One I think it's going to be his only choice at this point. It still seems like Dapper, however, is looking for that clutch, wanting to try and pick the two different players and may not even realize that this his opponent camera. is sat in the corner. He's going to spot him out. He even tags him at the end, even though he sat right behind him. And Gen G should have anti-strats all up the wazoo at this point for Sentinels. Luckily, Sentinels still have money, still going to be able Keeps to buy for this round. And you would expect at this point so much space to be taken from the race to Cypher on this attack. Player one already put on the back foot when it comes to the pressure. And there's more even happening in mid. Something I learned from the matches yesterday is that Huynh doesn't often have two quieter games. Shadows. It's a rarity. This is a man, or this is a map, sorry, that really does work well for aggressive jet players. Now, the spike's already dropped. That's so much information to Gen G. It's going to be Zombs looking to try and retrieve it. And actually, he gets away with a kill. I didn't even think they'd trade him, but eventually they come back through. And while Huynh... Satchel out. Satchel out. I mean, could be perfect, but then again, Sinatra expecting somebody to be watching the edge of the smoke. Would expect to see something similar, but of course, of without black guns, might not be as strong. Off your feet! That fault line has denied a lot of players, but it didn't quite stop Shazam. It doesn't matter, though. GMD is still going to get the opening nonetheless. In fact, the attacking side have almost been completely halted. They're stuck back towards heaven. One way smoke giving at least a little bit, but well, maybe not so much of a I one way exactly after all. Sinatra. One to kill, hit the singer. However, it doesn't seem to matter. A nigh on flawless round with only one. Early pressure put in from 
sensible Sinatra. This aftershock could actually get quite a lot with all of the smokes here and all of the stunts. It could have easily caught out Sinatra, but player one, he's been amazing so far, anchoring both the A and B sites. Mikael is still on the ground. You will as not the kill my help the resurrect is going to come through, but Mikael has been there <laughs> waiting. Two of the easiest frags that he'll be able to have. Genji have just been One so so remaining. passively picking their fights, and now it's all up for Dapper to clutch in this one versus two. Is capable, he has his ultimate. Gets one kill, uses it, finds out where the other one is, can make a play, give, but give me up. Genji's give movement is just so clutch here. That could be all the information he needs. The possibility of two individual fights. But I like this from Jim G. They are not peeking whatsoever. Just waiting patiently. 30 seconds Even left. with the plant Planted. going Spike down, planted. they're happy to just wait. They're going to wait until they basically meet up. Fight this one together. Which is going to be coming in from Quinn. He spots out his opponent, but at the same time, he doesn't actually have a gun. Player, so he needs to try and... Now, Quinn just whips the shot, though. Sinatra's gonna keep on pushing, but Sean actually is gonna help and rescue. All Wynn is doing is just putting a little bit of pressure in here, but so much utility is thrown. And just look at the way that Gen G are holding this. Not only surviving Sentinel's real sharp aggression, but getting a frag too. Oh, Wynn eventually. You, you give him a couple of opportunities. Well, let's slip away. One thing I will mention, I'm pretty sure the maps thing is now wrong, right? Because it NG are nine and zero, but shouldn't Sentinels have lost two? Just just a tip. Just add that yeah, in for someone pedantic. to maybe maybe to Well no, because it's maps, it's not matches, it's maps. Oh I know. Anyway, oh, that's that's a good position from Mikhail. He is gonna Spike spray here. things down. There we go, look, they just updated it. I wow. Was, I was right. <sighs> Roms. Thanks, Dead Street left Gamers. In 1v4. 30 yeah, seconds no, Very left. quick production. I'll give them the credit where it's due. That was that was lightning fast. In fact, people hearing me say it might not have even seen it by the time they fixed it. So, there you go. I didn't notice it. Really, is it too much to talk about? Zombs is just going to save this gun. The spike is well over in A, watched by three different people in three different angles. However, Ten Quinn seconds left. could maybe catch out Zombs here. And even now, the economy, it's just a game of where they could just keep hurting Sentinels for their money. Hit them where it hurts. Another round for Jin. Broken that. That's Shazam. Now, this is something a lot of teams will do regularly. You break that, and then you go back towards the B side. The thing is, though, it doesn't seem like the defense have fallen this whatsoever. However, it's a lot on to Sean, and he gets absolutely nothing. Bear in mind that his teammate, in the form of Quinn, was already very, very low. So he could not fight this Spike at all. Planted. It will be an afterplan. Player one still got his utility set up. It will break now. The retake's going to commit, and the Genji seem quite happy to do. Wayne actually gets a kill. He's been whipping his shots all throughout the round, but he's able to get such a, a key frag. Sick is on site for the There isn't too much to really work with. Blast alive. Straightforward. Genji just know how it's possible Fire because the rotation is coming in from Genji. Now this is going to be Sinatra. He gets Ooh. hit by Wynn before the rocket gets fired off. Wynn misses so many shots, but always hits the ones that he really needs to hit. This is so good from him. Sean has a really nice position. Win even better though. They're all trying to take these fights. And it's just Thirty Zoms seconds in this left. corner. We're just staring. How is he? That's like never going to get to the site. What play? The investment into a single flash, it's really, really reliant on your openers playing well. And thus far, they've been a little bit quiet. <laughs> Again! It's this man on the defensive side. It's Win to kick things off. I'm sure, this round, slightly less invested, but. If he's feeling it with an operator, that is a truly terrifying prospect. Because as said in the last one, it's abandoned. rare that he has two quiet maps. And while he wasn't exactly carrying them in the last one, I think we can give that one down to Sean. As my way. Red Storm is going to come out on the side of Shazam and he oh. gets a frag opening onto Quinn. It's nice play and this is the fast execute that you love to see. And this would be I the second exactly frag that's coming from Sentinel so far. But they've only managed to get that spike planted twice in 10 rounds now. 11th round this spike one. Planted. Snatch has created so much space for himself, has no utility left though, and is about to face two people that are pushing. Can't even get one frag. Player one is just everyone hiding. on an absolute winning streak with these fights. No effect is going to show up exactly where this first plant is going to be held from Sentinel, so they might need to change up their position. 
happening. GMD getting that first frag and flashing onto the site and opening this come in, but look at sixth position. Side He's up. not going to be beaten out by it. The blast pack is actually super good from Sean just to avoid that, and even gets a pick up the shutdown. Mikael was killed over to the high ground. Last six trying to heal, but he's taking damage. GMD works both. on through. It's just... <laughs> What a round. What a sick retake as well. Like, cause that, that, at this point, a sentinel. Get out of my way. Resurrect is good to go on the attack two. But might play a bit more aggressively with this raise as they're peeking towards, but player one has been so hard to move, no matter what site he's played on. And he switched around quite a bit. When he's in mid, hasn't quite spotted the player that's with him. Shazam is in that corner. Picks up, but okay. again, clinical. So Natra's broken his way onto the B site. Tripwire has been broken by the boom ball. Plant should go in. Sean's gonna get some damage in, but mostly gets hit himself at this point. To focus his ball retake, the rolling thunder is gonna come through. It's much more aggressive up the side of Gen G. Mikael's the first to get the frag onto this retake, clearing as many angles as possible. But sentinels are completely spread out. You will top. not kill my ally! I need to get the resin, but I don't think it matters. They've got the defuse almost all the way already. And I'm I'm actually blown away with how now, well, it's looking like they're struggling a little bit here. And again, we're going to see an aggressive move into the sky. Napa only has a pistol and so does Win. But this is where the slaughter begins. One okay, only going to be able to get one. I'm sure it's a little... Yeah, 9-5 up, but... When they don't necessarily have a game plan and they just want to sort of riff and see what they could do, I think this is an area the Sentinels can certainly beat them to it. Come to expect a lot, that's for sure going to need to see some of the stars of the sentinels arise to the occasion sure it's for seeding but it's important seeding at that sinatra just jiggle peeking looking for information as his paint shell in hand and will look to just do some damage as they push through in fact goes for the wide peak afterwards and well Mikael will just about escape with his life. He's looking to try and sneak his way through. Just, Sam, he's going to go down. 30 seconds This left. could be a big problem. Now he has the paranoia going into the back of the site, looking to let his team lead the way through. Amazing. It's a bit of a whiff, but eventually, Quinn will get things over the line. It's left onto Zoms, and he has no choice. He's just got to save that operator. It's something that Spike needs planted. to be brought into the next round. And honestly, I, I have no idea how Mikael survives this round. Like that That's the biggest thing for me, Ryan. How is he alive right now with what he just attempted? Facing up against Sinatra and Shazam and both just can't get those kills. They just look so low on confidence at the moment and you would expect those two players to be clicking the heads of everybody that they need to beat out. So Gen G, 10 5 up. I imagine that the money for Sentinels is not going to be great. They do have that operator the Zombs is going to keep a hold of. They do have a showstopper to break onto a site very quickly in case the money is that bad. But this is so comfortable from Genji. It, like, I keep mentioning it, but I'm so impressed with even how different... About to come under pressure. His cam left blind, and now he's being pushed. Sinatra looking to try and support him. Going to try and use the showstopper, but it's to no prevail. It doesn't get anything done whatsoever. And in the meantime, the attackers have managed to get control of the site, although it's definitely not ideal. A little bit close from the boom bot, but in fact, Sick falls. The trade yeah, coming back to the Kabar. Shazam needs to do something with this operator, and it's going to be GMD to put things firmly in the favor of Gen G. Another round of safe. The Rolling Thunder is going to be used on this attack. Great Gen G, a little bit of space, but Sinatra's angle is good. He's let one go. Now he's got to do some damage in, but can only get one if he had a bigger gun. That's easily two kills. Sean has done more damage in that sense because now it's a four versus three. The spike is going to get planted. Genji beat so much better at this than Sentinels were in their attack. Such a pivotal Sentinels retake that they just need to go for. Managed to gain a little bit of you ground and two quick kill kills coming for them. Resonance of death that makes this more than possible, and somehow it's now left all on to player one. Surely there's no way he brings this back. A lifeline for the Sentinels. They found a round out of very little zombies getting three kills down. Yeah, Sinatra. See you later. Sinatra's out, and now it's left onto the sole defender of Jaffa to try and hold the line. He's started off strong with 10 HP, and actually, he's still going. Another kill for him. Shazam even chiming in as well. It comes down to a two versus one. Zoms.
stop them hitting 12, stop them hitting map point. And he's in a pretty good position. He's still got his paranoia Spike available. Planted. A little bit of dark cover wouldn't go amiss. And there goes the paranoia. The peak no comes out straight. Indecisive. Gonna be pushing a lot more on mid this time, but this execute's gonna be electric from Gen G. Shazam is flashed, and he is gonna be hunted down when with that bolt. Soms just doesn't take his shots at all. They should at least get the frag. Sean's up for this up. It is done. Sinatra, one versus five to keep them in this open bracket.